Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around, I have uh, something a little different to show you guys. It's still video game related, really. Um, well, of course it is, as you can tell by the title of this video. Um, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, what I picked up today. Today was Boxing Day here in Canada, uh, uh, October, December 26th, the day after Christmas, where tons of stuff goes on sale. But sadly, this year... There just weren't that many great deals. Uh, even a lot of uh, bundles they had for the PS4 and Xbox One just weren't that desirable. Desirable, and the price still just wasn't right. So I didn't end up getting anything big like that. But I got a couple of games that I was uh, looking for for some time. And I also got one other item at the end that I wanted to show you guys. Um, so basically, I got four games at... Um, Let's see. It was at two different EB Games locations. Uh, I was considering buying a couple other things, but the prices just weren't that great. Um, the one game in here that I paid the most for, I paid for it really because it is a really good game that I should have bought a long time ago, but I just never got around to it. Uh, so I'll show you guys that first. It's Fire Emblem Awakening for the 3DS. Uh, instead of 40 bucks like they usually have it here, they had it priced brand new, as you can tell, if you can tell that is. Uh, they had it priced for $29.99, so I thought that was good enough. Um, next up, another Nintendo game that I got. I've been planning for some time to get this, but again, the price just wasn't right. And I saw it reduced down to $14.99 new. It's Pandora's Tower for the Wii. Uh, and again, very happy to add that to my collection as well. Just another RPG there. Um, next up are two PS3 games that I considered buying in the past, but I just never really got around to it. Uh, the prices were great, of course, so I definitely had to go for them now. The first one here is Dragon Guard 3 for the PS3. Now, I played Dragon Guard 2 on the PS2 many many years ago and uh, when I heard that this was coming out I definitely wanted to get it I just I never got around to doing that and the other game is a game that everybody's been saying is amazing and blah 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 this one here was 22 bucks uh, it's The Last of Us it was actually 22.49 because I had an extra discount with my edge card and that was a pretty good deal there as well um, in total, it was, what is it, it was $76 for these three games, and uh, 15 plus tax on that one there. Now, the last thing that I wanted to show you guys, um, I will have a proper unboxing video of this um, separately, but the last thing that I wanted to show you guys here is a flashback console, and this one here is actually the Intellivision Flashback Classic Game Console. Uh, I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. They had a couple other ones there, including the handheld Sega Genesis, but that wasn't that great. Uh, even though you could load ROMs onto it with an SD card, I just I wasn't that interested. They also had the Coleco Vision uh, flashback, but uh, I just I wasn't as interested in that one either. This one too came with a couple of unreleased games and a couple of the Intellivoice games as well. So I thought that was probably the more interesting one to get. And it still has the controller ports in the front that let you use the actual controllers. Now, I'm not really uh, into um, any of these consoles, really, that predate the the NES. But uh, I thought this would be a perfect entry for me to allow me to play a wide variety of games and um, see what's what, really. And that one originally was priced for $49.99. If you can see that, probably not. Um, I had a coupon for 20% off of that. I thought it was going to be reduced even more. Turns out it wasn't. Uh, but even at 40 bucks, it was still a better deal than uh, you could usually get on this. There are other stores that charge $70, $80 for these. So to get it for 40 was a good enough deal. And again, I will have a proper unboxing of this in a separate video later on. Just uh, watch out for that. Uh, anyways, that's all I got this Boxing Day. Sadly, no clothes, no DVDs, uh, nothing else really. There just weren't any great amazing sales. Uh, and this is pretty much all that I got. But at least I had a fun time at the mall shopping, checking stuff out, and 
that's all you could hope for at the end of it. Uh, anyways, as always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, website, they're all linked in the description below. And that's it. See ya.